axis and today I'm inside still working on this area behind the wood stove. I feel like I've got it pretty well laid out at this point. What I've decided to do is I mentioned there's going to be a post here, there'll be a little bit of a railing. I, I was pondering whether or not to do a wall of stone here, but I think I'm just going to have the wall of stone right here and not continue all the way around. And the reason for that is that in practice, oftentimes things will fall behind the wood stove, especially when you're cooking on it. And if you have to kind of reach over things down to get at them, it's just kind of awkward, especially if the wood stove is burning at the moment. Uh, so uh, if I have a little railing with some balusters here, you'll be able to just reach through and you can grab whatever you know, might have fallen. So I think I'm going to go with that approach. So this is going to be the stone area. I've got uh, vertical 2x4 studs on the back here. Uh, these are uh, sort of like trim pieces. Uh, this is going to get a cap on the end. Uh, and I've got some plastic down on it right now. The reason I've got the plastic there is I'm going to be using concrete and uh, uh, stone and wire lath. And if you just go with those, it can get pretty messy. So if I have a plastic backing, I can put the stones up to the backing, kind of fill the concrete in the back, and then I don't have to worry about it you know, dumping over into the, the closet that's on the other side over here. I just want to show you how I'm cutting the lath right now. I've got this piece here on the floor that's going to go up in this section. And uh, one really uh, kind of cool way of uh, getting a straight line on the lath is to place it down on top of a straight edge. Now, uh, you know, you could use a board or anything that's straight. I happen to have a seam in the concrete right here. So uh, I marked, when I had the lath up here, I marked this spot, I marked that spot, and now I'm just kind of cutting between the two. Behind me, you'll notice this, the plumb bob here. Uh, this is representative of where I want the uh, chimney stack to be, if it's going to be central, going up through those, uh, uh, between the, the floor joists up above. And it kind of shows off how well the layout of this uh, uh, air intake turned out. If you guys remember back when I was putting in this air intake pipe, it starts over there, it goes along the uh, foundation, and then cuts over here at a 45 degree angle. And if you recall, my concern was that I didn't want it to be too far over, because I didn't want it to be inside of this wall. Uh, and obviously I didn't want it to be too far this way, because then it would push the wood stove over. And the placement of it is really pretty perfect. If this is where I want to have the chimney stack, and this is the wood stove, this is about, I mean, within like an inch or two, uh, certainly, I mean, I think even less than an inch, this is a perfect spot for where that, uh, that needed to be. I originally wanted to have it just a little bit further back, but I sort of cheated it out away, uh, this way because I just didn't want to accidentally have it be under this wall. As it turns out, I didn't need to cheat it out. If it had been right here, you know, that would have been just fine. But, um, yeah, I, it just, it, I, I noticed that yesterday. I was like, oh, wow, that really worked out perfectly. So, anyway, we've got the, uh, the section of wire lath chopped up. This is some of the stuff that I kept uh, that I did not return to Home Depot when they tried to make it so I couldn't return anything. And this will fit right up in here. Now you notice I've got it a little bit high. I'm going to kind of fold it and tuck it up on the uh, inside. And this side is going to kind of get folded over and attach onto there. But the wire lath will give uh, the concrete something to grab onto um, when I'm you know, putting the stones in. And I'm going to attach the wire lath with some screws and some washers right into the studs back there. So this part is going pretty well, uh, and uh, as soon as I get this area done, I can try to get the wood stove install people to come in and, you know, I kind of can do it myself, but I just want to make sure that we follow all the regulations about clearances. I want to, you know, pay them to supply all the stove piping and make sure that, you know, it gets installed in a place where it's not too close to something and it causes a problem. So. Getting close, once I get this area done, I can call them in and get them going. That's it. Thanks for watching.